Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do your reading for the month of September. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I have to tell you that um, I did a reading for Virgo. And, I, and it was meant to be for Virgo. It really was. Um, <laughs> I started out with Scorpio. So I don't know if you guys are dealing with a Virgo. You have Virgo, Moon, or Rising, or Mars, or Jupiter, or whatever. But if you're, you may be interested in watching that Virgo reading, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Okay. You could be dealing with a Virgo... Um, sun moon or rising as well maybe that's theirs whatever the case is i i started it out with scorpio i don't know why and i took that as a message to do your reading next <laughs> so here we are we're doing scorpio now for the month of september typically my readings are love readings we'll see whatever comes up Past life relationship, you have known each other before. You know that, don't you? I bet you do. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay? This person is not your usual. Keep an open mind, okay? Be open to it. Takes a while to get to know somebody. You probably feel very familiar with this person. Like you've known them before. Comfortable. are thinking negative aren't you somebody's thinking negative or you're dealing with somebody that's negative this is negative thinking mm. this could mean my other things too but I want to get some more cards wow so right off the bat something is unbalanced in your life Definitely, with the Six of Pentacles and the Temperance card reversed. It's like there's some kind of thought, negative thought, idea, that is causing you some imbalance. Whew. It looks as though you guys have to believe, you have to have faith, you have to have trust. There's a lot of, of back and forth. It's like you're definitely going back and forth on this. You know, there's an opportunity for peace and harmony in a relationship. If you could regain your focus and your concentration. You need to have faith. You need to listen to your inner guide. And it feels as though perhaps you, you're, you're really, um, again, teetering. You're teetering. You're teetering back and forth, back and forth. Do you want to move on, move forward with this person or not? I think you, you know who I'm talking about here. That you guys are involved with somebody and you're trying to make a decision whether you want to move forward or not. on this commitment, whether you want to get committed or not, whether you can trust it. There's a lot of power struggles back 
and forth. A lot of it. Okay. Um, extreme. But okay, one minute you're probably ready to run with this person. The next minute you're like, oh God, stop sign. Stop, 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 stop. You know, and that's what it looks like. It's like, jeez, I'm crawl. Um, mm, that makes a lot of sense, this card. You are very, very indecisive. And it's like... <sighs> You have some anxiety, you have these fears of the unknown, you, you wonder if this person is telling you the truth, you're going through some emotional turmoil. I feel like right now you're emotionally guarded from somebody, you know, that mm, you, you, you probably have an opportunity for love, but you, your guard is up, you're blocking it, you are. You're blocking this love for some reason. And it, and it could be it could be your own negative thoughts or you could be dealing with somebody that is bringing you down, somebody else. Okay? You probably have you probably have somebody else that is very negative or or saying negative things to you or has made you feel like you're not worthy. I don't know. You know, maybe you feel like you will end up, if you commit to this person, eventually they'll reject you. That could be a case. There's fear of rejection here. Okay, there is fear of rejection. So anyway, I feel as though right now you may be bored with one situation and have an opportunity for a new one. That could be the case as well because I see boredom here. There could be a lack of passion, a lack of of ambition with one situation maybe you're committed to that situation and now you have a new opportunity and you have to decide whether to stay or go and it feels like you may be growing resentful as you stay in one situation that you're not happy in because I see a little bit of resent here anyway I see that you guys are torn you're torn in regards to staying or going or or yeah it's like staying where you're at or moving forward there's definitely a feeling of being torn this is a dead-end situation. You may be involved in a dead-end situation right now with somebody that is negative or lazy or whatever. Somebody that brings you down. You have an opportunity for something new. That could be the case. You may be considering moving on to something better with the Six of Swords. I think whatever's happening, you are very torn. Very, very torn as to what decision that you need to make, where you need to go, where you're going. I feel like... You need to believe in yourself at this time. Really, really listen to your inner guide because your inner guide is talking to you. I feel like uh, you may be... Um, needing to defend yourself. Okay? You may be needing to defend yourself in a situation. Do what's right for you. Stand up for yourself, Scorpio. Because you do have somebody that is is bringing you down you do with this card right here that's a that's a negative Nelly that's somebody that and whether that could be your own thoughts but I really feel like this could be a person that is immature this person has a self-image problem and misery loves company and you know that's the way it goes so I think that you have somebody that has either made you feel like you're unworthy making you think negative or you are actually dealing with this person now and you need to stand up for yourself you need to defend yourself you need to believe in yourself. You need to have faith and trust in who you are to move on from something, to face these power struggles, to face these conflicts. Fives are conflicts. Changes, choices. I don't have another five yet, but I don't even need it. Power struggles. This is let go of the old and bring in the new. And I think that's where you guys are at. You have to put yourself on top because if you don't, nobody else is gonna. You know, I feel like there's an opportunity to, co to come together with somebody that would really appreciate you. But you may be tied to something that is toxic and you need to free yourself. You need to restore control. You need to take back your life. You need to take back your strength, your ambition, your 
ability to control your future. I think you've been controlled. I do. I was going to say it with this card, but I didn't because it was upright. But I think somebody's been controlling you in some way, even if you're not with them. This is taking back control, freeing yourself from a toxic situation. Because you have a new door opening, a new path. You're at a crossroads. It's like there's, 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 there's two doors in front of you. One door leads to, you know, your kitchen. You know, it leads to where you're at right now. Right now. And the other door leads down a beautiful new path. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay where you're at? Or are you going to go through that new path? Are you going to go through that new door? It's time to move on with the Six of Swords. It's time to go down that new door, through that new door, through that, down that new path or whatever. It's time. Faith and trust. Twos are also about foundations and taking the next step. Right now, you're not in a happy situation. You're not. You could have been dealing with a Leo that has made you think negative or brought you down or made you feel like you're unworthy because I, it's almost like you don't know what you deserve with this card. Whatever the case, somebody's not in a happy situation. And there's, there's no opportunity for something solid in that unhappy situation. Whatever situation that's in your kitchen <laughs> or in your mind, because I see all the power struggles, there's nothing going to come of that. Okay, there's no, no growth going to come of that. And it will end. It's not going to, it's not going to last forever. No. <sighs> There's an opportunity to be secure, be practical, be responsible, get grounded. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, like I said earlier. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is There's a new door opening that could be leading to this person. Could be any sign, but somebody that is very grounded, loyal, stable, hardworking, But it feels as though there's difficulty in communication, perhaps, with this person. Perhaps this person, um, it could be a little immature. Perhaps this person um, says things without thinking sometimes. And I think that you are reluctant to start anew with this person. I think that, you know, you you have to let something end first as well. There's something that needs to end so that something new can grow. But I feel like right now you are afraid of conflict for one. You you Maybe you have to end something with somebody first and that will bring some conflict into your life. You do have two paths, like I said, there's two doors. Either you stay where you're at or you move forward. I mean, that's what this card is. And then we have the two of swords. That's the fear of the unknown and the indecision. You guys are being urged to take a step in a new direction with these twos, but you, your inner guide is telling you to do it. But I think that in the process, somebody might get hurt. And maybe that's why you are... You're staying put. You're not, you're not releasing. You're not letting this transition happen. Yeah, you guys are halting the process. It's like, you know, right now you know where you're at. There's no victory and success. You know that. You know that. 
but you don't have the discipline or the willpower to move forward. It's like you're not mastering your emotions at this time. These are both cards of transformation. They're touching each other. One of them is you and one of them is cancer. But it looks like there is an opportunity for things to change and, and get better. But right now there's a lot of, there's a major, major, major unhappiness where you're at. There is. You're not happy in your kitchen. What I'm, whatever I'm saying, you're not happy wherever you're at right now. You want something more. I know that you do. But you're unable to allow this new beginning because you're not mastering your emotions and taking the lead and finding the strength and the willpower to move forward. A transformation is on the horizon if you take the steps. But it's like you're refusing to evolve and transform. You're, you're refusing... You're refusing to allow yourself to be happy because I think that somebody, there's somebody else in the mix that is holding you back. You know, it could be a child, could be a partner that you're with that is no longer You know, it's no longer, whether it's a child or a partner, it's no longer fruitful. It's like you don't even have any desire to to put any fresh energy into it. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I don't even care. There's like, like a lack of care wherever you're at. You do care, though. You do care. I know that you care. It's this... It's like there's no new growth here. There's no new beginning in your kitchen. You know what I mean? There's no new, there's no new, no matter what you do, it's not going to happen. That's what it looks like. Right here, there's no commitment. There's no content. You're not content with even trying to start over with where you're at. Son of a bitch. You want something more. I know that you do. I feel as though there's an opportunity here for growth. And I was going to say it. I should have just said it. Damn it. For growth. A birth of something new. A rebirth. A renewal. There is. There's an opportunity for something new here. There's a beautiful opportunity. But I think you're stuck in something that is very unhappy and discontent and dull. It's like it's dull. It's boring. It's There's like no passion. There's no ambition. There's no excitement with wherever you're at right now it's like oh my god I'm just about dying you know that's what I feel it's like oh my god there's no this is too dull this is too dull for me and there's an opportunity for something a lot more abundant and and fruitful and exciting and You know, I almost like hear these birds singing. You know, I see, see the birds and I just pictured them singing, you know, where things are joyful. There's an opportunity. But you have to take that step. You have to take the steps in that direction. Or you can stay here forever. Or you can go back. What are you going to do? We have these twos. Now we have three twos. It's what I was looking to, looking for. Faith and trust. You have to have faith and trust in your choices, in your decisions. There's an opportunity to begin a new foundation with somebody else that could really grow into something solid and stable. But if you don't take that step, it won't grow. Twos, it's time to take the next step. Be authentic and be yourself. Be yourself. 
Don't let this dull, negative situation hold you back from being happy. I think you're in a commitment that you don't want to be in for some of you. You're probably in a, in a dead-end situation and you have to find the strength to let it go. Yeah, you guys are in some sort of relationship that isn't happy. And that Ten of Cups reversed. And it's up to you to take that next step. You have to take the next step. Follow your intuition. Your intuition is spot on. It's telling you what to do. I feel as though you're seeing this situation absolutely clearly. You know exactly what you need to do. But hurting this other person, this person could be emotionally blackmailing you. You know, with their negativity, their poor, poor, pitiful me attitude. Because that's what I see. Into staying in their drama. Twos are also a card of intuition, divine guidance. You are being divinely guided to take the next step, to allow this to evolve and stop playing on that, stop going on that roller coaster, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There's a transform transformation, a transition that wants to happen. It's here with the death card, the chariot card, and the temperance card. They're all reversed. Major life changes that are waiting to happen, but you have to take that step. And this is in regards to a partnership with all these twos. We have a lot of, we have what, four twos? Twos are about partnerships. It's heavy on the mind. You have an opportunity for growth with somebody that perhaps you have been wishing for, dreaming of. But you're caught up in a situation that has no growth, that has no fertility. It's dull. It's like a dead end. There's no passion. And trying to stay in a situation that is going nowhere or not allowing this new chapter to begin is only going to bring you bad luck. You guys are clinging to control or the person you're dealing with is. Somebody's trying to control destiny. Therefore, therefore, you know, when you try to control destiny, I said it in my daily vibes today. When you try to control destiny, then, you know, that's when the bad shit starts happening. It's, it's time for a new chapter. But you are totally, totally, totally trying to control it. Especially with the chariot card reversed as well. Or somebody's trying to control you. Somebody's trying to control your, your outcome, whether it's you or another person. The fact of the matter is, is that you are evolving, you are transforming, you are not the same person. I see that with all these major cards, a lot of them here. You are going through major life changes and you are not the same person that you used to be. And you have a new opportunity waiting here because you have grown. Twos are also a soulmate connection. You have a soulmate connection waiting for you. I know that you do. And it's not in your kitchen today. So I feel like you have a new opportunity. It's looking at you in the face. This person is not your usual type. You're being urged to go down that path, to go down that new, open that new door and go through it. But you're going to have to face your fears. And somebody may get hurt. Not hurt physically. 
But if 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 it's if you're not happy, if there's no passion, if the love is gone, if you've changed, if you've evolved, if they're bringing you down, then then you don't love yourself. I think I said that at, this at the beginning. It, I can't remember. If you don't put yourself first, nobody else is going to. If you're not happy, you're wasting your time. And it's not good for the other person either. It's really not. It's not fair to them. If you really want to do the right thing for both people involved, twos are about two people. They're about, you know, you have to do the right thing even if it hurts. Because it's not fair to the other person if you're not in love or if you're not in it to win it. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. This is somebody new. I know it is. It's somebody that is, is coming into your life right now or they've just barely, and I mean barely. I don't mean six months ago. This person has barely came into your life. Barely. And if somebody, you know, I know that you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to believe. Somebody that doesn't want you to, you know, this person doesn't want to believe the truth. Okay, they don't want to believe that something isn't working. But something isn't working. That's what I see. Ooh. Distant thunder. Clear the air. Clear the air. This is like a tower. It is. It's like, uh-oh. Clear the air. Speak up. Speak up. Dramatic purification, renewal, and healing are occurring on many levels. Don't be concerned if there is chaos in your life. In this instance, it is good. It is shaking things up so you don't become stagnant. If your auric field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult for exciting new experiences and opportunities to come into your life. It's time to clear out clutter, release the old, discarded, and unused. Clear the air and release situations and people who don't empower you. This is the meaning of my reading, and I already told you that. You guys are in a situation that isn't good. I know it. I see it. I saw it. Clear the air and release situations and people who don't empower you. Purify and draw us out of your life. In order for renewal to occur, the old needs to make way for the new. So there's your reading. I think I pretty much summed it up pretty well. There's an opportunity, a new opportunity waiting for you that is better if you guys are in a happily ever after relationship you shouldn't be watching tarot readings 